Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. With Quick Surface you can edit the meshes. In some cases like this one, you can reconstruct freeform surfaces and so on, but for some applications the users may want to fix the issues they see. For example, there are holes, there are noise here. We, we want to remove some unnecessary triangles, you learn how to decimate, but the user may want to create a watertight mesh, and we will go through this feature of Quick Surface. I will use this um, object just because it's uh, downloadable, and we will prepare this object so we can apply the automatic surfacing on it in the best way. In order to start edit the mesh, you need to select it on the feature tree. The other option is if you just click on the screen, it, it will get the reference mesh selected and you will get the option that you can edit this mesh. The other way of editing a specific mesh is just select it on the feature tree, right click and select edit. What you will see on the screen is the well-known commands for selection you also will see that the software automatically will turn the edges on so you can easily see where are the problematic areas and the hole that you want to fill. You probably know how to use the selection tools, but very quickly I will go through it. You can use the magic wand, which is a sensitivity selection, and you can just use the slider to select the different area. Also, you can use the brush command that you can just paint on it. If you want to unselect something, you just hold the Alt key and draw on the screen. As you can see, when you perform the selection, the software automatically shows you a quick dialog with some functions that you can use. If you find this annoying or you don't want to use it, you can always turn off this dialog with this option. So in this case, when you create any selection, it will not appear. I find it some quite useful. It's really a user preferences whether he wants to have this dialogue or not. So for example, I will just paint this and we'll see what options we have. The first one is the delete command. I can always just press here and the software will delete all my selected triangles. You can always undo this operation by right click and select the undo. The other option is from the main menu, select undo command, or just pressing the control Z. The main reason for this is that you can actually delete a necessary area. Let's unselect all. I will just zoom in here, paint this area and select delete. Let's see a bit more what other options we have. When I paint this, I can actually smooth my selection. This command is the same like the one you see in the main dialog. By pressing the smooth command, it automatically will reduce the noise of your selection. Let's unselect all. In some cases, you may want to focus in an area to work on. You can just select and you can invert the selection. The other option is that you want to isolate. The isolate will just hide everything that it's not selected and leave this area on the screen. This is quite useful when you work with the big object. You can always show the hidden triangles. Another option is if you want just to select something and then you hide temporarily, for example, like this one, and then you select the hide selected. These commands are available also on the main dialog. The other two options which might be interesting for you is that when you have selection you can enlarge the selected area by clicking on the enlarge button or you can shrink and make the selection smaller. This is when you want to do some more precise selection. I'll put this on top view and we'll show you two new commands. The first one is rectangular selection can just hold and lift your left mouse button and everything will be selected. The other option, which is quite useful in many cases when there are some cylinders or holes, is the circular selection. 
you select this. You hold your left mouse button and then you start tracking. You don't lift your mouse up, you just hold the selection and when you're happy with this you just lift your mouse up. And then you can apply your operation that it's needed, for example to delete this area. And the last option that we have in this basic mesh editing is that you can show the mesh wireframe. Show mesh wireframe is useful for some people that want to find out the quality of the underlying mesh and how the triangles are connected. It may help you to analyze the, the structure of the mesh. There are two more options here which are really important for when editing the mesh and you will learn this in a separate tutorials how to use them in details but just briefly to mention about them. Individual meshes means that the software automatically detects all the disconnected meshes. If you want to create a mesh, let me just uh, explain you. They are connected and um, they form a solid um, surface for example. As you can see here, it tells us that we have 87 multiple individual meshes. It counts all these small areas that are counted as an individual mesh. Also, it counts the number of holes. So ideally, if you want to create a solid that is ready for printing, your goal literally will be to have only one mesh and to have zero number of holes. We have uh, special tutorials for every individual mode of the meshes and the holes and we will stop this tutorial here for you to practice and you just watch the next tutorial to learn how to use the other tools to create a good mesh. I hope this video was useful. Thank you for watching.